last problem, we place 0 0.010 moles of dinitrogen tetroxide in a 2-liter flask at 200 degrees Celsius. After reaching equilibrium, the concentration of dinitrogen tetroxide is 0 0.0042 molar. It says calculate K for the following reaction. Well, before we do anything, we should probably write the equilibrium constant expression for the reaction. Remember, that is products over reactants. Now, remember the coefficient becomes the exponent in the equilibrium constant expression. We're told that 0 0.01 moles of dinitrogen tetroxide is put in a 2-liter flask. So that's, that's going to be our initial concentration. So let's go ahead and uh, calculate that. So we'll just calculate the uh, molarity, and that's over 2 liters, so 5 molar. So this is our initial concentration. And we are also given the equilibrium concentration. So let's go ahead and start filling in our ICE table. So our initial concentration here is 0 0.005 molar. And of course, the initial concentration of nitrogen dioxide is zero. And then the equilibrium concentration of dinitrogen tetroxide is 0 0.0042 molar. So what's happening is, as the reaction proceeds, the concentration of dinitrogen tetroxide is going to decrease by some amount, and we'll call that amount X. Or I should say we'll call that concentration X. Now, as this decreases in concentration, nitrogen dioxide will increase by 2 times X. And then, of course, at equilibrium, we'll have two times the concentration x. Now, um, what we can do is we can fill in the value for x here because we know the initial and final concentration. So x is going to be the difference between the initial and the final concentrations. And let's see, that's molarity. And that's going to be 0 0.0008 molar. So um, let's see. Here, uh, 2x is going to be 2 times 0 0.008. And that is going to be, so 2x then is going to be 0 0.0016 molar. Now we have all the information we need to calculate K. So let's go ahead and plug everything in. So for nitrogen dioxide, we have 0 0.0016. And remember, we have to square that. Okay? And we see that right here. And we're going to divide that by 0 0.0042 molar. And our equilibrium constant is going to be 6.1 times 10 to the negative 4.